Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's a hot Monday and Wendy's got your supersized dose of hot topics. Get ready to break it all down. Plus, the Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick breakup. Noah Levy from InTouch Magazine has the inside scoop on their custody battle and more. And it's our last trendy and Wendy of the season. Don't miss out on the big finish to our big discounts. Now, here's Wendy! my Wendy Williams collection on HSN. It's a simple tank top and a skirt, sweatery, good. And Suzanne is wearing one of my wrap dresses. Yes, Suzanne, yes. I love the pockets. Okay, working the pockets. I'll be presenting my new line, which is my fall line. Summer's over, by, by this time of the year, Summer's done, we're all buying for fall. Anyway, um, I'll be at HSN presenting on July 18th, which is Saturday, twice uh, from 10 a.m. to noon, and then from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then later on that night, I will be still in Tampa. That's where HSN is located. I'll be at the Mahaffey Theater with my sit-down comedy tour. <laughs> <laughs> the doors open up at seven o'clock. You get turned up and then we, I have a warm up comedian. There are lots of drinks. My DJ Omanaya is gonna be there. And, uh, and then I hit the stage for one solid hour of mess at nine o'clock. And let me just say, it's not gonna be talk show Wendy in a sensible outfit. Like I do a full costume. I travel with a full, um, a full set including couch, chairs, rugs, the whole, like the chandelier, like there, there, there's, it's a whole mess going on. So I'll see you on Saturday at the Mahaffey Theater in Tampa. Thank you. I, uh, I hope you had a relaxing weekend, me, not so much. Our, our dog, Shaquille, I told you we have, a, he's a cane course, that we, yeah. No, he doesn't, no, he doesn't look like this anymore. In like the, the few weeks that we've had him, he's gained like 50 pounds. He is literally nipping at my ankles. He's doing the most. So he got his shots on Friday. So now he can go outside. So I'm finally able to take him for a walk. So people are like, okay, well, you know, when you first take a dog outside, they mostly want to be carried because they're nervous of the birds and the cars and not, not our Shaquille O'Neal Hunter. <laughs> My Shaquille O'Neal Hunter is a soldier. He's not scared of a blow dryer, a vacuum cleaner, cars. He's rolling in the grass. He's stopping at every fire hydrant. He's just, and his eyes are blue and his coat is gray and I love him so much. So that's how my weekend was spent, like walking the dog, you know, yeah. 
Um, and cleaning up his puppy poop. So I'm busy minding my own business. You know, Saturday morning, I'm cleaning up puppy poop. And uh, you know, getting breakfast together and the TV's on in the kitchen. I told you I like to watch TV, okay, boom. All of a sudden, uh, because I had the news on, uh, there's this guy on the news. His name is Lou Famia. He's a FDNY, a New York City Fire Department man. Well, honey, he is Mr. September. May I present to you Lou. Hit it. Okay? Oh, oh. And, and not just does he look good, but the way he talks, like, if you're from the tri-state area here, you can appreciate this. He talks like this. <laughs> like everything is like, forget about it. You know, uh. anyway, Lou, um, I was attracted to you through the TV on uh, Saturday morning, and so I wanted you to see, I wanted you to be seen by the rest of the world. So here, this is Lou. Uh huh. And the calendar is out. I love firemen. Okay, did you hear about what's going on at E News? Yes. Oh, you're good. Then you know Juliana Rancic announced that she's stepping down as anchor. I don't know why they're clapping, Juliana. Cause in my mind, I was thinking it's the end of an era. You've been there since the beginning. Although I do have to say, now that you're stepping down, can we talk about the E! News? I feel like because you all tape your news and then it gets reported to us, you know, like uh, 24, 48, 72 hours later, it's late. You know, the real business these days is live stuff. Like I like TMZ, cause they give it to us right away. I like Hot Topics here on Wendy. Because, no. <laughs> Like if you're, if you're gonna talk about stuff, then it has to be immediate. Otherwise, the public gets very bored. And the E! News is not really my thing anymore, whereas it used to be my thing, but I like my news more immediate, so Juliana's leaving and that's fine with me. The rumor is, is that her... <laughs> the rumor is, is that Maria Menounos is gonna be taking her place. While we got a very good camera shot of a very beautiful woman in our audience during that, it still was a lukewarm reception. Yeah. Right, Susan? Yeah. There she is, uh-huh. But, but you guys don't care about Maria Menounos? Is it Maria or is it the E! News? E! News. Oh. <laughs> well, m my audience has their finger on the pulse of everything pop culture, so if they say, then it's, and so I'm like, anyway, uh, Juliana will still uh, host uh, the Fashion Police. And, and, well, she is. Ah! All right, you all. All right, she's got baby Duke to take care of too and bills to pay. And she's still gonna be hosting the red carpet. Oh. <laughs> Here's my thing. I think that whole Zendaya smelling like Chipotle or whatever. <laughs> I, I, I think that that had a lot to do with the, the down spiraling of uh, Juliana. She's not a racist woman though, you all. She made an innocent mistake. Yeah. Like, I, I know Juliana. You know, she has no problem with black people. She might not even have a problem with the smell of, you know, whatever. <laughs> but she made an innocent mistake, but that one mistake, it's weird, like one thing that you say wrong, can spiral over everything, which is why I sit here nervous as a cat every day when I do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> and by the way, E! News asked Juliana to publicly pass the baton to Maria Menounos. What? Now let me tell you about a baton passation. <laughs> I, 
consider myself a mature woman, but I'm very competitive and I get a bit of the bitteration that sets in, <laughs> you know, when stuff goes wrong. I would never pass a baton to somebody, not even if I was leaving a job because I've just gotten a billion dollars dropped off on my lawn. Like, I'm still not passing the baton to the next person. That's, call me small-minded, you called me worse. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Oh no, okay. In my audience, co-host, clap if you'd pass a baton to the next person. Okay, some of you all will one day realize that that's the wrong thing to do. Juliana's last day is August 10th, good luck. And so now, um, Ariana Grande is in hot water. Now we talked, well we talked about this last week. Remember we caught her licking a donut at the donut shop in California. And TMZ's got the footage right here. She and her new boyfriend, they're licking the donuts on the top rack. Those are the donuts that you all buy. They didn't buy that rack of donuts. That's what you all buy. I don't eat donuts, so that's not me. But people are outraged because Ariana apparently was also heard saying that she hates Americans and America. Well, th this is what I have to say about that. We've all said stupid things, including, you've never, are, are you serious? You've never said, I hate this country. No. Well, well, guess what? A lot of people have. Clap if you said it before, not really meaning it, but just like, exactly, exactly. I mean, sometimes I'm going to the Holland Tunnel and, and, and I am crossing over Kearney, New Jersey and through Jersey City and there's nothing but garbage and stuff around and I catch myself saying, I hate Jersey. I don't mean that. Like I love, the, like, my, love you. But, but, Sometimes you catch yourself saying something. The thing is, is that you shouldn't say it out loud in front of people. That's supposed to be kitchen table talk. It's not supposed to be out loud, but she's only 22 years old and we've all done stupid things at 22. Can we agree? Yeah. Okay. So, so here's Ariana apologizing. Take a look. I just wanted to make a video to apologize again for the whole donut fiasco. I was just really embarrassed and I never want to be anything but a positive influence on my babes or my loves or anyone who pays attention to me for that matter or follows me or sees what I do. I don't, that's not what I want to do. I want to be a positive influence. So I feel like I let y'all down, which sucks. I'm 22 years old. I'm human. I've still got a lot to learn and I make mistakes and that's how I'm going to learn. Really? Lackluster applaud coming from the audience. Here's my thing. Two observances in the video. Number one, she's as cute as a button. <laughs> Haters. <laughs> and number two, what is a, Suzanne, what is a babe? I have no idea. I hope she's not calling me a babe. <laughs> well, I think that that might be like an Ariana Grande, like, wait, hold on. Is that Boys, like a lamb? What is a babe? No, I know she has the Arianators, but I don't know what a baby. An Arianator? What is that? Like a lamb? Her, fans, her lambs. Her fans. That's like a Wendy Watcher? Yes. Of yes. uh, uh -huh. the beehive? Right. Okay, okay. Right. An Arianator. Uh -huh. That's a horrible name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It sounds like something I want to spray on Shaquille O'Neal Hunter when he comes in from rolling in the grass. An Arianator. <laughs> All right, I don't know what a babe is. All I know is that licking donuts is worse than saying, I hate America. Now, can we talk? Can we talk? Uh, so she needs some manners, but also um, I think people are ganging up on her because they're jealous. Look, don't throw tomatoes or donuts at me. <laughs> All I'm saying is there are a lot of people who would love to be 22 and really, really cute and really, really wealthy. 
So I'm saying that people look for any chance that they can get sometimes to pull people down, especially when they're young and cute and rich. That's it, that's it. So look, there were a lot of celebrity uh, weddings over the weekend. It's time for celebrity shout out, hit it. <laughs> Okay, so I was totally shocked, yet I'm very worried about Jenny Garth. Okay, well, she married her actor boyfriend. His name is D uh, Dave Abrams. Nice big to small though, right? Yeah. The, like nice ratio of, of height and size and stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know what he's acted in. I don't know him, but I know Jenny's been here before. We know her, she's a friend to our show. And she's only been dating this guy for eight months, but they came out as dating back in January, so six months ago. I also know she has three daughters. One is 17, the youngest is eight, and there's one who's 12. It's, uh, the, the girls were all a part of the wedding. I'm nervous. Yeah. Because even though she's 43 years old, and she's divorced now from the actor James, uh, Peter Facinelli, who's also now engaged. Uh, Peter was engaged before Jenny, then Jenny got engaged quickly, and then Jenny got married. It's almost like who could do better faster than one? You, you know what I, do you know what I'm saying? Even her friends are nervous for her, which makes me nervous for her. But, you know, we'll be watching this. I, I feel like the daughters are at that stage where, you know, at eight months, you really don't even introduce somebody new to your kids, much less marry them and move them into your house. You know, you ain't my father. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> like, you know how kids these days are. I just feel like, though, at, uh, at a certain point in life, when, once you get to know yourself, love can strike fast. You know, you can know somebody for two months and all of a sudden be in love with them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of a particular age, people. But it's still not good for your kids. Like, especially when they're the you ain't my father age. <laughs> you know? That's all. Anyway. And then, Nikki Hilton married her banker heir, James Rothschild. Beautiful dress by Dior. The dress is like $40,000. They got married at Kensington Palace in London. It's so crazy because even though Nikki, Paris, the whole family's friends to the show, but you know I talk like I mean it, so I'm just gonna say this because they're probably over there that they're not watching. <laughs> it's unbelievable that Nikki's sister is the sex tape girl, but they're treating this like it's like a princess situation when really the Hiltons are just sloppy Americans like the rest of us, okay? I, I said like the rest of us, does that make it better? <laughs> Including me, like, like, like really sloppy Jersey, getting married in Kensington Palace, really, in a $40,000 Dior, really? What am I gonna do for that? <sighs> it is messy, thank you. Anyway, there's one snafu, and that is that uh, her veil got run over by the Bentley. Oh. <laughs> Paris looked very beautiful, and so did her mother, Kathy. Uh, yes. You know what I love the best? I love Kathy's Dior bag, and I love the bottom of her dress. Isn't that beautiful? And I've always loved Paris's jawline, you know? Like, how do you get that jawline there? Like, like she, she, she's a very beautiful girl, that Paris Hilton. If you don't think so, then, cause you're a hater. <laughs> Look, she, she's a very beautiful girl. And, and, I, and I must say that I'm most pleased that nobody has anything popping out or showing up. Do you know what I mean? Everybody's dressed like a lady. Yes, cause, so congratulations to Nikki Hilton. And then, <laughs> 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 
Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner's divorce? Well, it's going through, but people are saying they're not acting like it. I don't care about this story. I'm giving this to you. Okay, Merry Christmas. Uh, listen, they were both spotted wearing their wedding rings over the weekend. Deal, Schmeel. Why is this a big deal? Like a lot of people don't care about wedding rings, not men, not, like a lot of people don't even exchange, like, but people are talking, they're saying, oh my gosh, they're wearing their rings. And then they're like, they're wearing the rings, but only around their kids. It's a kid's outing. And when they get away from their kids and they do their press junkets for the various projects, they take the rings off. <laughs> and I'm like, what is the big deal? Why is this even a story? But, you know. My, my thing is, kids don't notice rings. What kids notice is when daddy leaves the house, does he kiss mommy on the forehead at the dishwasher? Or are mommy and daddy sleeping in the same bed? Or why are mommy and daddy screaming at each other for one week straight, right? That's what kids notice. They don't notice a ring. Like I wear a ring and I love my ring <laughs> set. And, and might I add, if anything were to ever happen between me and my beloved, I would probably still wear the ring, only because it's gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, it, it, at that point, it would have nothing to do with love. It would have to do with being gorgeous. And until I get it sized to fit on my left hand, because they say, you know, this finger right here is the one that you're supposed to put your, your um, ring on, symbolizing your divorce. But my rings don't fit there. They only fit over here. So I'd still wear them here. My husband doesn't wear a ring. Okay, when we first got married, he had a ring. Okay. <laughs> so, so I get him the ring. We're married, we're happy. We're driving along the Garden State Parkway. Okay, this is before Easy Pass or before we got down, we, 17 years, so okay. So this is like one year in, maybe six months in, whatever. Driving along the Garden State Parkway, he takes out his coins and throws, back then I think it was 35 cents to pass. You see where I'm going? Yeah. Okay, he takes out his coins to throw it in that hole <laughs> and the ring goes down the hole. Okay, then, anyway, the, the point is is that he doesn't wear a ring, I wear a ring. Even if something were to happen, I'd still be wearing my ring because it's gorgeous. Yeah. But rings, <laughs> rings don't mean a thing to a lot of people and they really don't mean a thing to kids. Anyway, clap it up again because we've got more great stuff. Hot Topics is done. Listen, we've got a new edition of Trendy at Wendy. You can get the hottest summer products at huge discounts. But up next, it's time for the inside scoop. Listen, Noah Levy is here. And Noah is going to give us the new juice on Courtney and Scott's messy breakup. So grab a snack and come on. thinking it, but didn't have the guts to say it. Well, that's what I'm here for. And the illusions of the one and only Penn and Teller. I'll see you then. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. that Amber Rose has a new assistant, full drag queen with a oh, beard. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh my God, I know. The I, best I assistant in town. Okay, yeah. look, it's time for the inside <laughs> scoop. Noah's here with uh, all the juice from In Touch Magazine and VH1's Gossip Table. Give it up again for Noah Levy. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's all right. talk. We have so much to talk about. Okay. All right, there's a lot going on with Scott Disick and Kourtney Kardashian. Now, it looks, I know, guys, did we not expect this? Come on, really. We kind of expected this. So it's looking like things are going from bad to worse for Mr. Disick. He's been on a bender for a few days. He hasn't seen Kourtney in quite a while. Um, he's been partying. He posted an image saying that he was going to be promoting a party in Vegas. There was a lot of we hate for that. We talked about that last week. Yes, so he uh, deleted this from Instagram. He did not promote the event. 
And now, in the meantime, it looks like the only person in the entire family that is talking to him is Chris Jenner. Why? She wants to give him a show. Well, I, I know what you were going to say. I knew it. I knew it. Sorry. Wendy, Sorry. I knew it. All right, so Insiders are saying the reason why they're speaking is because she wants to get him into rehab and get him some help. Even his friends that he's been partying with for years are worried about him, and they think that he's gone too far. Hopefully, this is going to be the rock bottom that he needs so he can be a good father to his three children in the future. Okay, so... <clears throat> He's moved out of the house. Where is he living? All right, so I'm not sure if he knows that Kourtney Kardashian has moved to stuff out of the house, but, oh. on, <laughs> but on Penelope's birthday, there were photos of um, Kourtney getting his clothing outside of their home, getting everything moved out, and he actually purchased a home. Oh. Yep. Seriously. Kick it to the curb. Is that a fabulous Versace jacket in it the front? Looks, it's pronounced Versace, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, he bought a home in Beverly Hills that's around $3.2 million a year ago. It was going to be an investment property that he was going to flip. He didn't flip it. So I think he's going to be living in Beverly Hills. She moved everything there. And this is on Courtney, this is on Penelope's birthday. Oh. Now, on Penelope's birthday, he was nowhere to be seen. Uh, Courtney was in Disneyland with um, Kim Northwest. They had a great day. Scott Disick. Uh, don't know where he was, but he posted an image on Instagram, which was a collage, and this is pretty sad. He said, one of the only things I'm proud about myself that I've done, happy birthday, P. Aww. Sounds like, you know, one of his biggest accomplishments is his children. It's, uh. There is some remorse there, but this guy, you know, if he has remorse, should he be at nightclubs partying so much? I don't think so. All right, what about custody? Custody, all right, well, Courtney, not Courtney. Yeah, so it's, insiders are saying that Courtney Kardashian wants to get full custody, allegedly, of all three children. <laughs> yes. I, ag I agree with this. Because the thing is, and you're a parent, so you know, if you can't take care of yourself, can you really take care of three children? Right. I don't think so. Um, hopefully, at one point in his life, he'll be at the, the point where he can take care of all the kids. And be, and be a, a great... A co-parent. A co-parent. Okay. He's got to grow up. So now, what's his status with the Keeping Up with the Kardashians It's not looking show. good. Okay. Insiders are saying that he's going to be fired very soon. Because the only reason he's been on the show is because of his relationship with Courtney. Now, right. we also need to remember that Kris Jenner is the producer of this show. Okay. And if Mama's not happy, ain't nobody's happy. We know that. Okay. So, all right. Um, now, um, all the sisters have a three-season deal, which was very lucrative with E. He has a deal, but it's only um, season by season. Insiders revealed that he gets around $4 million a year from the show and from all the spinoffs. But he has a special clause in his deal, which basically says if he acts crazy, they can fire him at any time. And it sounds like right now he's acting crazy. But that's what, that's what happens when you're in the media. I, I mean, you know, whether you're on radio, whether you have a TV show, whatever, there's always the crazy clause. Like, if you do something crazy, you know, you're out. Yeah. That's it. All right, so let's talk about Ramona. Let's go to From Ramona Singer. Let's go okay. to Ramona Singer. All right. So in the new issue of In Touch Weekly, Ramona Singer reveals that she's kind of like Cher because she 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 believes in life after love. <laughs> okay. Which we all do. So yes. all right. Two years ago, she uh, split from her husband Mario after he allegedly cheated on her with a 32-year-old personal trainer. That's got to hurt. Right. Right. But now she's revealing to In Touch that she wants to get married again, and she sees herself getting married in the next two years. Maybe she's psychic. She's putting an exact number out. Out there. Okay. I hope she can do it. But she's 58 years old. She's looking better than ever. Better than ever. Ramona, and, and she likes to have fun. Look at her. Yes. She's doing core exercises. Ramona looks good. She looks good. And what I like to say is you break up to break through, to start a new life. And yeah. it looks like she's doing that. Sure. She's a new life. The only scary thing is that when you put it out there, you know, that you know, two years, then in three years, people are going to be like, mm-hmm. Wait, Ramona, you're gonna get I know. Married. But you know what? Uh, Ramona, good luck. You're a very sexy woman and you you are a very fun girl so good luck to you she's I, a lust for life yeah yeah i want the best for her noah i haven't seen you in so long it's, it's nice been a to while see you again yes and you look beautiful by the way thank that you. dress come on thank Let's you for thank you make sure you pick up a, your current copy of uh in touch magazine clap it up again for noah levy thank your you. in touch is on newsstands now hot topic sound off is next
sound off. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Jasmine. I'm from Maryland. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Who are we talking about? I want to sound off on Giuliana Rancic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so honestly, throughout the years, I feel that she has just gotten way too full of herself. And she needs to focus on being a mom, learning how to filter her mouth. And, you know, honestly, I'm, I think... Maria will do a decent job. I think she's beautiful, she's young, and she deserves her chance to do what she wants to do. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Who My name you? is Imani, and I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois. Okay. <laughs> and I want to sound off on Ariana Grande. Okay. Well, I totally agree with you. I believe that she was pretty much being a little bit disrespectful towards... America, like how dare she say that she hates us? Right. But we're the reason why she has so much money. And obviously, she could care less about obesity because, I mean, she was licking the sugar, and obviously, she likes a little chocolate. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Who's next? Come on over. Wow, I love this. Thank you. Who are you? I'm Kadia. I'm from D.C. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I want to sound off on Kourtney Kardashian and crazy Scott Disick. Okay. Um, after the recent uh, um, issues with the not going to the birthday party yes. and um, not speaking to her for days, uh, how dare he? How dare he, Wendy? I, I just don't understand where he, who he thinks he is and what he thinks he's going to do Lord with this. Lord Disick. Lord Disick. Um, but you know what? I'm glad he's fi she's finally done with him. Close on the street. It is O-V-E-R. But you want to know what? I have a sneaking suspicion that they will get back together. Wendy, I, I hope not. I hope not. Nine, nine years and three I kids. Know, I know, I know. But when a mama bear's claws come out. Yes. About her, or her little girl okay. not coming to the birthday party. Yes. For blood. Look out. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. We have another one? Wow, I like this. Wendy. How you doing? doing? Good. My name is Trina. I'm from Chantilly, and I'm here to talk Chantilly, about... Chantilly, where's that? Virginia, sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Yes, and I'm here to talk about Ben and Jen. Okay. They've been married for 10 years, okay? And I agree with you. Who cares? They're wearing their wedding ring. If I had a nice wedding ring, which I do, I would still be wearing it. <laughs> God forbid. Okay. Okay. God forbid anything happens, you, but I would still would be still wearing wear it. it. If it's for the kids, if it's during the transition, just let them be. Let them wear them. Let them not wear them. Who cares? Yeah. I think the most important thing is that they need to be good co-parents. Yeah. Don't you? I agree. Married or no married? Married or no married. Okay. Okay. Well, how, how y'all doing, Chantilly? <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank Up next, you. everybody, we've got some unbelievable discounts on some hot summer products. Trendy at Wendy is next. <laughs> I need to moisturize, I need to get my rest. There's some place I have to be in the morning. And the stars of Orange is the New Black. We're locking down all the juicy stories from the hit series. Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. I'm very serious with you now. Come closer. It's time for Trendy at Wendy. We're going to show you some unbelievable discounts on some of the hottest products of the summer. Everything that you see will be available for a limited time at wendyshow.com. Please welcome our financial fashionista friend, Nicole Lappin, to our show. Hey, yeah. Okay. We were talking during the commercial. I was saying that lips to me are really important, and my lips went through a very functified stage during the winter. Here's a lip right. party. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a rehab for your lips. Let's this get them comfortable for the summer. This is a four piece perfect pout set by Skin mm. Cosmetics. And this is awesome because it's all these bold colors that are super trendy right now. Yeah. We're seeing Rihanna rocking these bold lips. Reese Witherspoon. No lip segment would be complete without mentioning Kylie Jenner. Well, Although, of course. Well, she might have a little extra help. Yes. Besides just the lip but color. But you know what I like even more than the lip color? It's the lip preparation stuff. It comes with the scrub and also the balm, and also the Pro Volume Serum. So this is a lot cheaper Aww. than what Kylie may allegedly do. <laughs> we don't need all that cash to get those types of pouty, plump lips. Okay. So whole, the whole set retails for $103. I know. But we're not paying that. that. Heck no. 67% off, to so just $34. <laughs> 
Run, don't walk. This is definitely worth it. <laughs> All right. This looks really expensive. Here's the deal. We are frying our locks in the summer. It, I don't care if it's real hair and his wigs. If it's, the gym wig especially probably needs right. some of this. Love, <laughs> yeah, yes, lie. yes. This is Caroline Chu shampoo and conditioner set. This is magic stuff. It's keratin and argan oil. Super amazing, pricey ingredients. Argan oil, you know, is the is the um, kickoff to you know it's going to be good for your hair. So, you know it's going to be good, and it works on all hair types. It retails for hundred and twenty eight dollars for the set. Yeah, no joke. Set of four. No joke. No, just set of two. Uh, what? <laughs> We're not paying that. We, hell no. Sixty one percent off. Fifty bucks. <laughs> okay. Invest in your hair. By the way, the shampoo and conditioner both say thickening. So if you have thin hair like my natural hair, thicken. What is, where are we going? We are going on a trip. We are going on a trip. It's time for summer vacation. This is a hard case roller luggage. Super, super cute. By Armor Light by Donnie. Just in time. The whole Wendy team is going on vacation during hiatus. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> It comes in super cute colors. Look at those patterns. Chevron, a little black and white flur I like action. this one right here. Good for the kids, this is my too. Favorite. Yeah, super spacious inside. Yeah. And? So you can be trendy at the airport when you go on your trip. It's it, travel on. It's, it, it's up, up there. Yep, all TSA approved, all that jazz. Okay. It retails for 150 bucks. But just for our lovely Wendy Watchers, it's 60% off, so just $60. And can I just add? about this luggage is it's not two wheels it's four yes. that, that two wheel it's luggage is thing. so but that's a thing of the past the four wheels are where it is and this right. skinny mini can fit in there <laughs> oh, Eat a sandwich what? wendy what, what? <laughs> all right i no. need several sandwiches i'm so hungry <laughs> no. what's this no mm. trendy at wendy would be complete without ending with some bling mm. this is <laughs> And crystal watches by Sterling. Now, watches always, always sell out at Trendy and Wendy's. So you have to go to wendyshow.com ASAP. I always feel like no woman is complete Monday through Friday without a watch. Like every single day, like a watch is a very important piece for a woman to have, no matter how much you pay for it. Now, what's and this? And it's hard to find a good chunky one, but that's also feminine. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And this is that. So. This has crystals, a bunch of different metal tones that you can choose from. It retails for up to six hundred and ninety-five dollars. Mm -hmm. But, but just for us, we are up to eighty-six percent off, so as low as ninety-two dollars. Well, I got to tell you something. First of all, thank you to Cole Lappin. Thank These you, amazing deals are only for Wendy watchers, but they're for a limited time, so go to wendyshow.com yeah. before they all sell out. And I didn't forget about my studio audience because you're all going home with the perfect pout yes. and skin, uh, skin cosmetics. Over there, ask Wendy is next. Don't go far. I love it. There's so much more of the Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments. Catch my after show and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Okay. It's time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Hi, Wendy. My name is Shanice, and I just started dating a guy. He, it's only been a month. And we were talking about summer vacations, and he said that he's going on vacation with his ex and her family. Okay. It's already paid for. Okay, I need you to speak up a little louder, but we already heard you. Yeah. It's already paid for. Should I be okay with him going on vacation? No. Um, Tell him you'll see him in September. Okay. <laughs> because you know what? Like, don't lose his number. It's yeah. not your fault. You've only been dating him for a month. Yeah. And it's not his fault that he paid for a vacation. And there are a lot of people who um, still want to get their vacation dollar done. Mm -hmm. But you know what happens after margaritas after midnight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Andy. Okay. So see him in September. Okay. All right. Very well, Shanice. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. I'm Tammy from Jersey. Hi, Tammy. Hi. Um, I think my husband is going through a midlife crisis. Oh. He's been wanting a motorcycle for months. Ding. And I, I've been very much against it. I come home last week, and the motorcycle is in the driveway. Ding, ding. <laughs> Should I let him keep the motorcycle? Yes. Tammy, how many kids do you have? Two. How old are they? Uh, one's 19 and one's nine. 
And how old is your husband? 46. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a midlife crisis. Yeah. Um, let him keep it. Make sure he's properly insured, and you might want to up his life insurance. <laughs> Make sure he's operating within the confines mm -hmm. of, of uh, you know, how a motorcycle always wear the helmet. Right. He can't ride mm -hmm. the kids. Right, right, absolutely. You not. know, you might take mm -hmm. a spin for him, no. or maybe not. No, no, no. All right, well, th well, that's on him. Okay. Oh, my gosh, midlife. <laughs> it's a difficult, pisser. Right? It's difficult. very difficult. Thank you, Thank Tammy. You, oh, hi, Wendy. How you doing? No, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, my name is Mo. I'm from South Florida. Uh -huh. um, I have a friend of seven years. Uh, she's gained a little bit of weight recently, and she doesn't want to do anything anymore. She was my, like, adventure buddy. We used to go everywhere together. Uh -huh. And she doesn't really want to do anything. She blames it on, like, work, or she says, like, she's getting older, but, Wendy, she's 25. <laughs> Midlife crisis but, at 25? I don't know. But, Tammy, check this out. Uh, <laughs> So my question is, how do I bring it up to her without offending her? Or is it saying, be comfortable with who you are? How do I, how do I get that to her? You're not even giving me the you can offend vibe. Like, <laughs> Mo, you seem like a very nice man. Thank you. If you came to me and you said, Wendy, it, you know, are you, are you uncomfortable with yourself? Like, mm. you, you have a way, of, doesn't he have a way about himself? <laughs> you have a way about yourself, Thank Mo. You, Wendy. So go to her and okay. talk and in private. Yeah. At her house or your house. Okay. Not out at the restaurant or no. something. Because then that way she can cry and she could really just let it out. Yeah. And then okay. just be there for her and let her know that she's beautiful. And don't encourage her to lose weight if she doesn't want to do that on her. About how many pounds? A couple. <laughs> she's a gorgeous girl. A gorgeous. A couple is two. Either way. Either what are we way. talking about? 50. 60. Oh, so she's gained another person. <laughs> okay, well. Wendy, you're going to get me in trouble, Wendy. No. Be nice the way you are right now. Talk to your friend and pull her out of her shell and let her know she's beautiful regardless, okay? Perfect. Thank All you. All right. Very Thank welcome, you. Mo. is from New Jersey, and she's a retired legal secretary, so it's time for Pop Quiz. You ready? Um, yes, I am, Wendy. Okay. What was Ariana Grande caught licking? Cupcakes, donuts, or her backup dancer? <laughs> donuts. Congratulations, Iris. You know what? Yes. You won a two-night deluxe stay at Foxwoods Resort Casino. Oh. to Jersey. I want to thank today's guest and my co-host, my fantastic studio audience. Tomorrow, Ken and Teller will be here to perform some incredible tricks, and Carolina Bermudez will be here with the hottest dish on our favorite music stars. I love you for watching today. I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.